Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're going to be working with fractions that, when combined, they create a mixed number. Hmm, wonder what that is. But before we get started, I just want to have a note to educators and parents. First, give your child time. Slow down if necessary. Math is different than English language arts. And then, if your student or child has figured out how to do these fractions, let them be. Many times in the book it says, hey, we're trying to use this specific method. Unless there's an educational purpose for further computational strategies, let them be. Or, if they're using, still using pictures and other things like that, and you need to move them up to using more numbers and building that number sense, then change their methodology or strategy. But until then, let them be. Okay, let's get started. So today we're working on this problem, and I'm going to show a couple other problems too, but uh, we're going to start with this word problem here. It says, Stephanie's scout troop of five girls sold cookies. At the end of the sale, each girl had two-thirds of one case of cookies left. How many cases do they have if they combine their cookies? Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Let's highlight the important information. So we're going to reread this. Stephanie's scout troop of five girls sold cookies. Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to underline that. I'm not sure if that's relevant yet, but let's take a look. At the end of the sale, each girl had two-thirds of one case. Ooh, need that. Of one case. How many cases do they have if they combine their cookies? So, here we go. How many they have and then combine? That's, those are some key things. So, what, what is this telling us? Well, I'm going to pull this off to the side. So, there's five girls and they each have two-thirds of one case. So, I'm going to write down two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. Hmm. And then it says, how many cases do they have if they combine? So, that's why I put that pluses there because they're combining it and we're trying to figure out how many whole cases that they have and how many partial cases. Or if it's just whole. We don't know yet, but we need to add it up. In our prior lesson, we said, hey, if the denominators are all the same, then that's going to equal to having the denominator there. It's going to be the same denominator. So all we're doing is adding up the numerators. 2 plus 2, let's just do this. There's 4 and 2 plus 2. There's 4, and then we have 2. Add all that up and together. Remember what? 4 and 4 make 8. Add 2, and we have 10 thirds. 10 thirds. Ooh. But that doesn't tell us how many cases that we have. Hmm. We, that's how many uh, you know, cookie boxes that we have. Let's see what can we do. If three boxes fit in one case, then we have 10. So if we, we can just take this out, we can say, okay, I'm going to minus three. So that's going to, because three and three make one. So that is equal to one. And then in seven thirds, hmm, wait a minute. This is a little bit easier now because seven is close to six and three and three make six. So if we say, if we pull out that minus six, and that's going to be 3 and 3, so that's 2. So they're going to add that 2 to that 1, so that equals 3, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So we have 3 and 1 third cases. That's how many cases that uh, Stephanie's troop is going to have left. Rather than having those five boxes, it's down to 3 and 1 third. So how many cases would that be? They would need four cases because they have that one-third there. Alright, 
So, how else can we look at this problem? Okay, let's take a look how we can do it a different way. Remember using number bonds for whole numbers? Let's see if it'll work with these fractions with a common denominator. Here we go. So I'm going to draw my big circle here. And then I'm going to take this out here and do two-thirds once and draw a circle for it. And then I have another two-thirds. Draw a circle for it. And there's two of them. Do another two-thirds. There's three. Another two-thirds. There's four. Ooh, I'm going to put this one out here. And another two-thirds. You're like, wait a minute, Mr. Woods, how can we use that to determine the total up there? Works the same way, because we add them up. Remember, to get that total up here, or the sum of all of this, we can do that. So, two-thirds plus two-thirds, oh, wait a minute. Huh. We have two-thirds, but how do we do that? Well, if you remember... There's that common denominator that has the, or the, same, the denominators are the same number. So 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and 3. So up here we can just say, hey, this is going to be 3. And then up here we just add them up. 2 and 2 make 4. Plus 2 is 6. 8, 10 thirds. Easy peasy, right? But wait, we need to figure out how many thirds are in that 10? But it's like, well, wait a minute, how many three? So let's take a look. So we know we have 10 thirds. I'm going to erase this. And we have 10 thirds. Well, let's break this down. So 10 is equal to 3, because we're trying to get it down to 3, plus 3, plus 3. There's 3 and 3 makes 6 and 3 make 9. So we have to add one more plus 1 and then we put that 3 underneath all of them. 3, 3, 3, 3. So what that does, let's bring this down, so this is going to essentially be 1 plus 1 because 3 over 3, oh, that makes a whole. It's 1 plus 1 and then plus 1 third and that is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus one-third, which is three and one-third. Same answer, different ways. But wait, there's another way we can do it. We can draw pictures. Let's do that. Remember, we had five cases, okay? Or those five girls had two-thirds of a case. So that's telling me there's five cases with only two-thirds in them. So we can draw that. Let's draw that. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And if we break it up into thirds, look at that. It's like there's cookie boxes in there. And we can add this. Okay, now all I need to do is shade this in, because there's two thirds, two thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds. So we're adding all that up. Well, let's make some more cases down here. So we have this here. And I'm going to say, okay, there's that third goes to here, and that third goes there. This third goes here. We're going to add that up. So we know this one is whole. We're going to add one more case here. Those are thirds, so we can take this third here, and then these two thirds here. Ooh, look at that. We still have some more cookies. Let's add this up. There's one and two, so there's one and two. And then one third from there. And that le leaves us with plus only this one third right here. So now we can count it up. This is one hole plus one hole plus one whole plus one third, add them up, one, two, three, and one third. Oops. I even Mr. Woods makes a mistake. And that's okay. 
Mistakes are okay. So here we go. We have, oh boy, I keep making that mistake. Let's try this again. One, two, three, three, and one third. There you go. But wait, what if we were working with a different number? So we have five cases with, let's make it a little more interesting. Instead of two sevenths, let's make it three sevenths in each. How do we figure that out? How, we, how can we get it down to the fewest number of cases? Well, let's keep going. So we have 5, so it would be 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. Same denominator, so we know it's going to be a 7. And then we add this up. So three. remember the small doubles. 3 and 3 make 6, so here we go, so we have 6, and then we have 6 here, and then 3, so 6 and 6, that's a large double, remember 6 and 6 make 12, plus 3 is going to be 15, so that's 15 sevenths, but we want to make that into a mixed number. Well, what number that you can use, it's divisible by 7, so think about that. Is that is close to 15? Hmm. Think about your seven and seven. That's your large doubles. Makes and if you look at that, remember, see how I did that? Seven and seven. So I have two fives, right? So that makes ten. So we're going to take those fives out. So that leaves us with two and two make four. Ten plus four is 14. So if 14. We can just say minus 14. So, and that's going to be, right, two sevenths, or two, two of those sevens. So, that's going to equal to two. And 15 minus 14 is one seventh. And there you have it. There's your mixed number. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. Remember to watch learn, subscribe, and share to my channel. Make a great day.